I was really disappointed at halftime because, um, I mean, we were we were having a great half, and then we just kind of tough shot here, tough shot there, turnover there. Now it's a six point game at the half. You give them life. Um, I, that that was you know a tough spot for us. However, we came out. We knew it'd be a dog fight in the second half, and we just you know run here, run there for us and for them. And at the end of the day, you know we did a good job of getting stops when it when it mattered. And a couple big shots made too. You know, obviously Rocco hit the big one. Um, it, it was I thought it was a good game for us, a good game to win. What do you appreciate most about Robert's game? Well, I think, you know, he, he's one of those guys that um, he's not going to be high usage. He's not going to always get the ball. He's going to have some games where he shoots it seven, eight times, maybe nine. He's going to have some where he shoots one or two. Um, but it never changes his attitude and his effort on the other end. And that's where we depend on him the most, you know. Um, defensively, he's going to have to slow down some really great players, you know. Um, and sometimes he'll get shot. Sometimes he, sometimes he won't. But he's just—he's such a great pro. Seems like he, he kind of found the cracks. They played most of that matchup zone. Kind of look. Seems like he was able to find the cracks. Maybe. Yeah, I thought we we had, we did a good job. I think um, you know they played a few different little zones out there. You know, um, and we haven't faced a ton of zone this year. But we've been trying to prepare us for when we do. And I knew coming into this game, um, we talked about that shoot around that. They, they, they play some different zones out there. So we got three or four different plays that we want to run. And I thought we did a good job of freeing ourselves up and finding open areas, you know, um, and then making shots. <clears throat> Was the goal tonight for Damian not to try and shoot a ton and just be a facilitator? You only took a, I think a That's break. never the goal. Never a goal? No. No, no. no but, but, but he. Shots. Yeah. And, but he, you know, when, when teams. They hard, hard show. They trap. They do a lot of different things. And Dame is just programmed to play the right way, you know. <clears throat> Excuse me. He's programmed to play the right way. So if he's not getting a lot of shots um, because of way, the way that they're playing, I respect the fact that he's like, all right, cool. Y'all take me away. Y'all got to deal with this dude. Y'all got to deal with CJ. Y'all got to deal with Norm. And he, I mean, he's just having such, I mean, his floor game is, is incredible. I mean, he talked 11 assists and two turnovers. He's finding the right guys because he's, you know, so much his attention is being put on him. He's doing a good job of just finding the right guys and making easy plays. Are you concerned about his shooting? No. Why not? Why would I? He's one of the greatest of all time. He's still in his prime. He's not 38, 39. I played this game for a long time and went through that myself. Do you think there's? Do you think he's getting what he wants offensively, like getting to shots wise? Shots. I mean, you look at a game like tonight. You know, he shoots 13 times. Um, you know, I would like for him to be shooting 22, 23, 24 times. Um, but he knows to 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 have to do that against some of these teams. That means he's going to be shooting over double teams. He's going to be shooting fadeaway threes. He knows that's not the kind of shots that, that he really wants to take. <clears throat> and so, um, yeah, I think, I think you know, Dame is fine to shoot, and I'm not worried about that. I'm just so – I've been really impressed with his floor game, you know, and how he's actually orchestrating his patience out there. Um, and then there are sometimes he's, he's getting great looks and not, not making. That's just a part of the game. What do you think about your defense in the fourth quarter, particularly the last five minutes? You guys were down by nine. Yeah, I thought our urgency and our defense was really good. Um, you know, late, you know, I, I kind of went back with the starters after playing small. Went back with the starters um, at the end. And that very first play when I did that, we give up a three to Miles Turner. Um, and as soon as it happened, Nurk knew, like, he, he gotta, you got to press up, you know. And so they made a quick adjustment on that. And I just thought our urgency was really good. Uh, we fought really hard defensively knowing that we're going to be switching a lot of those times. You want a tight game and you're switching, you, you by yourself. There's no help there because you don't want to leave three-point shooters. I thought we did a really good job of taking that personal um, challenge um, defensively down the stretch. Did you take one from the Zoom here real quick? Facebook, come back here. Uh, 
Luis Enrique Acosta, go ahead with your question. Yes, today teach, uh, when I go to Thank you for your time. It's Luis Enrique Acosta from Compendio Deportivo on the website dpitv.com. Coach, you finished the game 18 to 5, which was the key to keep the space. Uh, you said we finished 18 and 5 run, you say? Yeah. Oh, um, well, I think just being aggressive, you know, just being aggressive. I was proud of, I'm proud of the guys for, you know, as much as it was up and down out there today, we stayed aggressive. We didn't play the game not to lose. Um, that's something that I really believe in, like play to win. Just keep continuing to play to win, stay aggressive. If you have shots, take them. Don't play to, like, protect the lead and, and play to, you know, not to lose the game. You, it takes away your aggressiveness. So I was proud of us for doing that, you know, and we continue to find holes in their zone defense, and the guy that was open was shot ready, and we made big shots. Got time for two more. Casey, go ahead. Uh, CJ's a guy who obviously is a great shooter, loves to shoot. He gets the last two assists, both to Rocco. Uh, particularly, he got in the lane there. You could tell he was bottled up, looked like he was going to go up with it, found him. Uh, what do you think that says about CJ as a developing playmaker, or does it say anything about his willingness to give those shots up when I think a lot of times he would, he would like to take those? Yeah, CJ's a guy who obviously has, you know, he obviously has a, a ton of freedom with this team. He's so gifted, you know, as a scorer. Um, but he doesn't get the credit for, he, he actually sees the floor very well, you know. Um, two big assists there at the end, um, knowing that he's, he was rolling. So obviously they're going to show you a lot, you know, maybe two guys a lot of times. Got to find the right guy. And um, I, I me and him talk about this all the time because he, you know, he he does. He he takes some some tough shots at times, but most great scores do. Um, and most of the time, we need it. You know, we're 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 riding him. We're riding, you know, on his shot making. So at times during games, but I thought he made some huge huge plays down the stretch. How would you describe what Norm gives you guys just night to night and tonight? You know, Norm's just he's just so explosive. Right, he gives us some speed. He gives us, you know, an aggressive playing wing out there. Uh, he's a tremendous shot maker. You know, he's just a great shooter uh, from the wing and even in the corner. But also, he gets to that basket. He's a downhill driver. So we need that. You know, uh, especially with Dame and CJ. You know, for the most part, uh, being jump shooters. Um, even though Dame has been finishing a ton around the basket this year, like we need that that aggressiveness that Norm brings uh, when he's attacking that basket.